What's up guys, it's Daniel with VintageMagic.com and I am at Northwest Sports Cards in Tacoma, Washington. It's actually owned by Don Knutson. I'll zoom in there for you guys, Knutson. And I wanted to share with you an experience here because I'm uh, actually picking up an Alpha, Alpha starter deck from my buddy Roger in Canada. And I wanna do this video, so I figured we'd just talk more about it because you know, obviously it's cool to see an Alpha starter deck, but also uh, kind of get some insight on a really cool LGS that's been in business for uh, about 30 years um, in the Pacific Northwest. So let's take a look inside. Uh, I actually, you know, I don't know, if you guys like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments below about talking, going to different LGS stores. I think it's kind of cool. I mean, look at this place. It has, it's in a really cool mall area. Uh, it has lots of, like a Mexican restaurant down there. They got a Trader Joe's UPS store. Really great amount of parking. Let's take a look. And as you guys know, most LGS stores are you know, no longer in businesses and uh, sports car shops. And this shop's been around for 30 years, so you know they're doing something right. Look at this place. Do you guys recognize any cool sports packs and cards? And yeah. Look at this memorabilia. I mean, take a look at this, guys. If you guys like love sports stuff, memorabilia, you guys got the mother load of Seahawks? Seahawks hats? Seahawks? All right, I'm talking to Don over there. Hey, Don, how's it going? Wave over there. Good. All right, good. Yeah. So, so first off, Don, you've been in business for over 30 years, right? Yeah, we started in 1987. 1987. So, Don, it's so how do you pronounce your last name? Because I just went out there, I probably screwed it up. Don <laughs> Knutson. Yes. So, Don, you've uh, uh, when you first started, what was your, uh, your 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 idea? What was the what was the the passion behind this whole thing? Create a business that was fair to customers, delivered quality products at affordable prices, with lots of integrity. Now, now everybody's going to want to know what changed. The biggest thing that evolved from the sports car world. What what changed the most? The dealers that are left today are those that have treated it like a true business, uh, emphasizing service, quality, and integrity, which is really the difference between part timers, uh, full timers. Not to say there's not a lot of part time collectors and dealers that are, are honorable people, but the the full time dealers that stayed in business kept customers is their primary focus yeah that's great i'm guys i'm gonna pan over here too well, that's great dot dot makes a really good point because uh in magic world there's lgs stores local game stores that don't treat the customers first right. and some of these uh, lgs stores they're playing magic and not helping customers isn't that weird to you you've heard, you've heard it seems of that. a little odd it's yeah. an odd business model yeah but many of these owners are are uh, they have a huge amount of passion for the game. Right. They don't necessarily have their eye on business. Right. And it's it's a. Uh, end of the day, it is a business. It's a tightrope act sometimes. Yeah. At the end of the day, it has to be a business. If you if you don't treat it as a business, you will not remain in business. Right. So guys, there you go. That's a great tip from someone that's uh, you know over 30 years of business experience. We do a lot of investing videos and stuff in this uh, in this channel. And Don's a great example of someone that has a successful business for 30 plus, 30 years? 30 years, yes. Like exactly 30 years. Uh, 30 years uh, in nice. January. So that means, so that 30 means, and a half years. So we don't want to date, so we don't want to date Don, so Don's basically 31 years old today. So the, <laughs> I'll um, take it. Take I'll it. Take it. All right, so we introduced uh, the card shop a little bit. Let's go over like um, the gaming. So you have a gaming center, correct? Yes. Uh, when, when, when did you open that? We opened a gaming center three years ago. It's about 10 minutes away. It's the Northwest Sports Cards Gaming and Tournament Center on 6th Avenue. Okay. We have over 8,500 square feet of all gaming products. Yeah. Whether it be Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, etc. cetera. Uh, seating area for over 200 people for large tournaments. Oh, wow. So we have a lot of fun there. And that's wow. where we take care of our mail order business as well for, for the gaming customers. And when did you start opening that? When was that at, like... Well, we, we got into gaming in 1993. Okay. Uh, we actually started with the Unlimited product for, right. for Magic the Gathering. It almost didn't happen. We tried to get in with a beta when it was first offered for sale through one of the, the first distributors, right. and we were shut out of it. I almost, I almost told them I don't want their product at all. 
and move on to something else. Right. Would that have been a big mistake or what? Uh, oh my God, that'd be crazy. So, <laughs> so you were, we were, so you were in the Wild West days. You bought some Unlimited, Arabian yeah. Nights. Oh yeah. Oh my All God. All the early products. And, uh, and every now and then we see customers coming back in that still have that product they purchased from us in 1993. Right. So this is, this is an example. I was talking about my friend Roger in Canada. Roger's an avid collector and we're friends and he uh, purchased something here. It's a cool alpha starter deck for $7.95, everybody. So uh, let's, and I have many little decks that I've had where seven, oh, does it even come up? Seven ninety-five. dollars And that is so, that little piece of paper is probably older than most people. <laughs> most of the collectors out there today. So yes. what's, tell us what's special about the alpha starter deck. What's, what's special about alpha in general? It was a very short re, uh, product run as a way to get the product out in front of collectors and, and players to see if they like the game. And uh, what was the interest of Magic back in the day? Like, what, like, what'd you think? It was it. I didn't think it was going to last, to be honest with you. No, a lot of people I say that. I thought it was kind of a, a little bit of a gimmick, and and we thought it might have a two or three run or two or three year run. Right. Uh, thank God I was wrong. And. Since 1993, since we ordered it from the very get-go, I was never really the magic expert within our shop, but I always had someone working for me that was. Right. And uh, thank God for those people that they uh, uh, continued to prod me to, to keep the product in stock and service customers with fair prices and a good selection, and it's paid off. So you say, like, it was going to fail, because everybody says this, too. Like, everybody says, like, at the... The infamous set Fallen Empires. Right. People started thinking, oh, God, what's going on? Is that where it kind of dropped off for you or maybe Urza's well, block? Well, I was still hot and heavy into it during Fallen Empires. Okay. So we had many pallets of Fallen Empires come into the shop. Pallets, Jesus. And in fact, I <laughs> traded an uncut sheet set of the original Alpha. Right, the the beta, uncut, whatever that thing That's was. That's right, yeah. the, the black-bordered uh, three-sheet set, one sheet of commons, one of uncommons, one of rares. I traded to a company back east for a bunch of bunch more Fallen Empires because I couldn't keep it in stock originally. Oh my God, guys, everybody, please com leave a comment below how crazy <laughs> Don is. Are you serious? I'm oh serious. Oh my I, God. I'm bring that deal back. That's a, that was now, that, that was, well, you know, that deal might be uh, okay. I mean, how many boxes in a pallet? I mean, that, that's quite I, I a bit. I don't recall how many yeah. were in there, to be honest with you, but it worked out to about $2,000. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, for the sheet <laughs> sets. Now, obviously, we'd love to have those back. They'd be right. worth much, much more today. Well, that's, but at that's, the time, it worked out okay. We sold the Fallen Empires. Right. And once again, that wasn't the strongest product. What do you, what do you think has, like, for Magic, what, what, what do these change the most? What? What's changed and made the game different, do you think, in your eyes? I think that Wizards of the Coast changing how standard is played and making many changes over the last few years has driven some of the, the players out of the market. Interesting. And hopefully they'll be able to figure out a way to... Uh, to stabilize that a little bit more, so yeah. so players and, and uh, as well as investors have an idea what to expect. Now that's a very honest answer. We like that. I mean, you're you're talking more of the reprints. Do you think? Well, reprints have something to do with it, and okay. just the the format rules. They've changed it a little bit, and I I honestly don't understand them all top to bottom. Right, right, right. But it uh, the. The lack of consistency is hurt. Sure. In my opinion. Sure. Yeah, well, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, do you think that uh, people are collecting magic anymore like they used to? Remember they remember the good old days of nine-page little sleeves, and we used to, like, want to open those Ice Age packs and make every single uh, card, you know? Sure. Yeah, do they do that anymore? Well, I think there's a lot of that happening, yeah. but primarily with the older sets. Interesting. I don't see as many set collectors as there once was. Uh, however, right. I will say that internationally, we're getting a lot of buyers that are trying to build high-quality sets. Older sets. Per, you know, vintage sets, yeah. yes. And they're willing to pay top dollar for top-quality merchandise. Why do you think that's the case? It's scarce. Yeah. It's scarce. It's, ra it's rarity, isn't it? Sure. And if you're buying something that there's millions of available, like most of the new products... Probably there, billions. Less, what do you think? Billions? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> millions, millions. B B okay. Uh, there's less opportunity for, for increased value. But I think there's still a huge opportunity for investors to, to be buying up the vintage stuff now. Yeah. I, even though it seems like it's high priced today, 
I think it's going to seem low if we look back on it right. 5, 10, 20 years from now. And you're, you know, guys, this guy is the, an expert at sports collectibles. We just panned around his shop. He has tons of older, you know, uh, baseball cards, basketball cards, whatnot. I mean, from your perspective as like a baseball sports card expert, what are you seeing magic you know, like, is this just the infancy, the start of it all? What do you think? Because Matt, baseball has like hundreds, a hundred years plus of history. I think this would still be the infancy for collectible card games, and it's worthwhile to be a discriminating buyer by the best of the best. Sure. And even if you have to pay a small premium now to get the very best quality, right? It should uh, pay off in spades down the road. And I don't think Don's selling you guys here. I think paying more than market for old stuff actually is one of the biggest regrets people don't do. Right? Sure. How many and that, times that happens with sports cards as well as gaming cards. How many times have you been to hold that? Oh, I wish I would have bought that Mickey Mantle back in the day. I wish I would have paid a little bit more. Sure. It's just, many times. Many Way times. too many times. Oh, my God. It's just one of those things. The, the, the one reason I don't have many regrets over that, though, is that I've made a point of trying to get the investment quality stuff in the hands of our customers. Right. Let them have that opportunity to make the profits on it in the long run. Right. It's hard as a sports card shop to speculate on things, mm -hmm. isn't it? You can't That's just correct. you can't keep buying product. You have to sell and uh, stuff like that. Because I get asked that all the time. Dan, why don't you just hold on to every single piece? Nope of um, collectible you own. Why don't you just hold on to everything? I said, well, the thing is, that's exactly what Don said in the beginning. You have to make a decision with your life. Are you a business or are you um, just doing it for fun? Right. 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 See, the thing is, right, Don, you have seen so many cards, you could have hoarded everything. Right. But you chose to create a business and a brand and something you enjoy to do every day. I think that's what you enjoy. A lot of people, right, they, they end up collecting it. They don't make any money. They go out of business. Right. Yeah. If all I offered the customer was garbage or leftover type product. Right. The stuff that why you would collect. They come back. Exactly. The junk. Don, where can people find you? I know you have an eBay store, really robust, over like thirty thousand items all the time online, right? So what? Yes. What is the eBay ID again? Is NW okay. Sports Cards. No space. Com. No space. Okay. NW, NW Northwest Sports, Sports Cards, Cards with an S. Dot com at on eBay. On eBay. On eBay. And, and our also website address is NW hyphen. Oh, hi, sportscards.com. <laughs> right. And then in the, the gaming center, guys, if you're in the Seattle area or Portland, whatever you come by, uh, I think it puts Card Kingdom for its money. It's bigger than that. Sure. Oh, 8,500 square feet? 8,500 oh, square massive. feet. Massive. And uh, we also have a, a gaming only website called nwgamerschoice.com. Right. Don, hey, appreciate the. Thanks again, again, Roger. Don's a really great guy. I wish you were here. You have to come back to Seattle. We'll have to come by and visit. Please and, do. And we'll. Uh, and I'm gonna go out and just uh, uh, just kind of do a more one more pan. But thank you, Don, for your time. And I'm just gonna show you guys again. This is a really cool. You got coins here too, right, Don? That's correct. You got coins. You got stamps. No, it's no, no okay. I, I, when I first coins, started, coins, memorabilia, Bilia. sports cards, every everything. Type of supply you can imagine, and of course, gaming. Cards. You got some coins here, guys. I mean, coins is a huge business. I mean, currency is a huge collectible. I mean, if you guys love coins, this is a great place to come for coins. My favorite card, guys, when I grew up was the 89 Donruss Ken Griffey Jr. card. Where the hell is that card thing? I remember opening that in, my, in a pack. I don't see it, but it's similar to the... There's the Upper Deck Rookies that's there. The, that's the one everybody dreamed of yep. back in the day. It's this year, yeah. This is, uh, it's this Randy... Johnson right here guys that year but with Ken Griffey Jr. That's what you're looking for. That's what that's what I grew up with. That was the card. And you know, sports cards has been graded for many years. You got Nolan Ryan rookie. Oh my god. Guys. For those of you out of the country, Nolan Ryan was one of the best pitchers of all time. Like the strikeout king, correct? Yes, yep. that's correct. Strikeout king? Yep. This is bringing back memories. You got the the two steroid guys, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire. Oh, my God. Yep. Mark McGuire, rookie. Alex what Sammy what was the price of PSA 10 Mark McGuire rookies back in the day? What was that? The, like almost seven to $8,000. It was ridiculous, wasn't it? It was more than that. Yeah. It, it was insane. Yeah. Even a regular oh. hard PSA 8 quality was selling for $225 to $300 in 1998. Holy. That same card now is in our case for $12. Yeah. Steroids Ab and overproduction. Unbelievable.
And would you say the economy of sports cards, if something happens to the economy, like mm -hmm. the economy tanking, does that affect sports cards? Sure. Yeah. Sure. It's different because than, yeah. This is expendable income that's spent on cards for the most part. Now, yeah. there are some heavy duty investors that have made good money speculating. Right. But for the average consumer out there, you know, it's all about the economy. It is, yeah. Guys, we've been talking about that before. Sports cards are US based. This is not like magic where it's a game and you know such like that. You can play them, the power of the cards. It's very unique. What the heck? What is this? Oh yeah, hockey card. What's this little Jace, this little mask? What's this? Are these mask? Uh, yes, that was, a, that was a special collector oh, okay. a few years back. So, I mean, look at sports cards has things okay, that are very unique. It's just kind of like magic, guys. You got things like, you got baseballs, bats, jerseys. In, in Magic World, you got uncut sheets, you got foils, you got uh, all these specialty items. All right, guys, so hey, look, thanks again and again for watching one of the videos. Uh, I hope this was really cool. I mean, this is a very exciting experience. I'm gonna get Don here paid up for this Alpha Starter Deck, Roger. And uh, I think it's a really great experience. If you guys ever get a chance to come out to uh, uh, Northwest Sports Cards here in Tacoma, Washington, or University Place, actually, I think it's a great opportunity. Uh, their gaming center, 8,500 square feet. It's a great opportunity to go play. And uh, guys, I mean, this is great. If you guys have any comments, if you like these type of videos, just uh, put a comment below. If you guys want me to go to other card shops around the world and nation, let me know. I'd be happy to do more of these videos. I think it's really great to see businesses like this uh, on the channel and share more about you know how they got started and all the cool products they have. All right, guys, thanks for watching, guys. Check it out again. Northwest Sports Cars here in University Place, Washington. Take care, guys.